So that was um, a really big deal for me. Um, I started thinking about uh, my teachers, and I didn't even realize how much of my experience from elementary school s stuck with me. I was able to name every single teacher I had from kindergarten all the way through the sixth grade wow. and see their faces and s see myself in their classrooms. Uh, and of those teachers, I uh, realized, I started looking them up online to try to find out if, if they were still living in the, in the community, uh, if they were still living at all. And I discovered that one of my teachers, my sixth grade teacher, Dr. Evangie McGlon, she just passed in January, and she was in her 90s, January of, of 22. And she was in her 90s, 92, 93 years old. Yeah. And then I looked, um, uh, I found out that my third grade teacher, who was really, really special to me, um, Audrey Baker, who had been a, a principal here, uh, after she left teaching third grade and she progressed in her career and she passed Monday a week ago. Oh. And she was on my guest list yeah. because I had seen her about three years ago and we reconnected. It was really great and I wanted to make sure she was among yeah. my guests and I learned that she had passed. Oh. So these, these connections just kind of stay with you. Yeah. Uh, and to... Um, be in, in the same profession, even though I'm, I'm engaged in it at a different level, mm -hmm. um, just knowing uh, what an impact those teachers had on me. Uh, I've been in the classroom. I taught music for yeah. a number of years. I'm a pianist. I uh, studied um, music here in Oklahoma City starting at age six. Um, my music teacher lived in the block uh, down the street from me mm -hmm. over in Northeast uh, Oklahoma City, uh, Lucy Alexander, and many of the teachers lived in the neighborhood. Teachers from Crescent Hills, from from then Kennedy, it has a different name now, uh, and Douglas High School, they all lived in the neighborhood. Yeah. So your teachers, your preachers, your community leaders, your politicians, they were all, we were all part of a, a vibrant neighborhood. We all knew each other. Uh, you, and, and there was this closeness of community, and I have, um, you know, honestly been very fortunate to grow up in that type of setting. I didn't realize at the time how important that was going to be to me later in life, but uh, it was a wonderful foundation.